Hey, hey, welcome back. So we're going to be doing some more Oracle of Ages. I'm looking forward to this. And, uh, you know, that's just going to be it for the YouTube viewer. Sorry, guys. Come back next time. <clears throat> but we're also going to be checking out some Cosmos 2 multiplayer Minecraft tonight, too. So stick around. Yeah, we've referred to this joke earlier in this stream. And, uh, you know, I looked up Oracle of Ages meme. I didn't actually expect to find this but no i didn't make this myself someone else actually made this so yeah it's a real meme but yeah dude we're gonna get into some more oracle of ages let's fucking go that one particular track is just always so odd i don't know where that takes place all right yeah time for more oracle of ages and then Seasons, because this is a sequential playthrough, we're going to do both in a row. I'm going to take my password from Ages, take it over to Seasons, deliver it, make sure I drop off a delivery receipt, you know the drill. Okay, wait, where am I? Why was the keys directly on me, too? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is where I want to go. I remember the Gorons opened up a new way to go. Wait, 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 wait. I was not paying attention. Was there a reason to go up over here? No. Unless it's a Tingle Bomb, which I really fucking doubt. We're getting pretty close to finishing Wind Waker. I mean, at this point, it just feels like a, play a playing a vanilla playthrough. That ain't a bad thing with Randomizer. You kind of want it to feel that way once you get towards the end. With a new tunnel complete, we've got new dwellings. Some Gorons have even opened new shops. You should check it out. Sweet. I'm gonna throw away all your food. Okay, for a second I had like some weird parallaxing, my brain disconnected, and I was like, wait, I'm in the same spot I started at. These stairs go to the base of Rolling Ridge. So this is like shortcut? Two shortcuts? What? Oh, that was flawless. I don't need to use the rod. I love Cool Story Bob, dude. It's such a good Twitchy mode. Surprised I haven't used it more often. I mean, for a while there, I was just spamming DX Cat every time I'd start the stream. I didn't care about any other emote on Twitch, it was only DX Cat. Which, I mean, it's cool, dude, look at it. It's Deus Ex, but a cat. How can you not love it? Gorons have always loved games, and they always will. You gotta have, you gotta save time to have fun. Okay. We're seeing, like, a comparison between some of these, uh, hominids. I don't even know what to call them. Aliens? No. I feel like Goron, Zora, and something else have been around in Zelda for tens of thousands of years. In places east of here, the Goron dance is all the rage. If you can't dance well, you won't make friends. What? I'm gonna need the ability to dance at some point? Okay, this is actually the way I'm supposed to go, I think. So I might need to turn around. Nice vacuum cleaner! Book of Water? Hey, that book! Wait, that, that. That's a touching book I need to take to Syrup. Why do you have it? Let me read it. What? Oh my. Ooh! Oh, uh, uh. How touching. You read all of that in like the span of 10 seconds? Got the magic over, I'm, I'm Botan now. That's a mean wake. Thanks. It was good. Take this. It's the first one I made. Syrup gave me... Never gave you any compliments on it? What are you giving me? I'll keep this book. What? Take this... Take take what? What, what am I taking? What? Oh, okay. It was just the magic aura. I thought she was giving me something else, too. <laughs> So do witches craft their own ore, or is this just an ore from a boat that she probably stole and enchanted with magic powder? I really am, Botan. Why, why is it a magic ore, though? Aren't witches usually associated with broomsticks, or is that specifically a Japanese thing, that witches use ores? I know it's kind of like mythology? The ore is meant to symbolize the journey to death. 
or something. At least that's what I remember from Yu Yu Hakusho, I think. You know what? I might be verbatim just remembering that part of the story. Yusuke debating with... I almost wanted to call her Bulma. What the fuck is her name? Botan. Debating with Botan why she has an ore. I want to see these fucking things. Like lakes are the enemy of Link kind. Why am I here? Can't read it from here. Cry falls to the west. Alright. Well, let's fucking go, boys. Just like a minuscule fairy well. Okay. Unless I can dive here. No. Shallow water. Okay. I crave 2D Zelda segments. They're always so good. Okay, I remember what this is. This is like our main quest area. I should probably turn back before I forget. Ah, distracted already. Uh, cause there's something in the previous cave I probably missed. Who are you? Oh, that's right. This guy is important too. I think he gives us something for free? I thank you for paying to fix my door. Uh, what? The, the tree was your door? Don't do it again. Fuck off. You know what, just for that? It's a hefty price to pay, but I'm taking these. Asshole. I didn't think you'd steal all my money. You better pay that back whenever I save the world for you. Oh. You saw that, didn't you? I changed direction midair. I did not want to get swallowed by that thing. Yeah, let's just go backtrack really quick. I don't know what I'm missing, but it's probably just like a hard piece or something. No, you don't. I love the Goron music, it's so fitting. I do believe this was released right around the time Ocarina was, so... That's probably where the inspiration comes from. The inspo. Yeah, there's two different areas to go up here. I completely missed something. Is this just like a ni nice, neat little battle dungeon? Ooh, you got even more loot in here. Damn. That's, that's always the surprise with... With me playing Zelda, at least experiencing it for the first time, or like with what we had with Link's Awakening DX, it was kind of like rediscovering it pretty much. Just constantly surprised at how much puzzling that you can do. You don't expect it. Every time you go to a new area, you're like, oh yeah, time for uh, another boss battle, another item. You don't expect like three separate heart pieces. Like, what is this? I can go back to the past here? Or go to the future, whatever it is? Which is it? Is it this? I never remember. I can't tell which part of time I'm in. Okay, so it's the other one. But yeah, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. I just felt like it was time to play more Zelda. And I'm excited to just like, goof around on Minecraft, dude. Find a treasure is so hard. Will you let me hang out to 20 ember seeds and 20 bombs? I'm sorry to disappoint you, I don't have enough bombs. If I'm lucky and find treasure, I'll give you half. How about it? Huh? Don't lie, keep better track of how much stuff you have. Can't you just take part of the payment? You, you can usually do that with shopkeepers these days. Just say, here, hold on to the 20 bucks, I'll come back in a day. You remember my face. I come through here all the time, bro. I'm guessing this is a Gasha Seed tree planting spot. Gasha Seed? Yep. Plant a Gasha Seed. I feel like I have so many at this point, it's just irrelevant. Every time I encounter one of these areas, I already have one. I'm not, like, panicked to go find another Gasha Seed. It's just always fine. It's like farming in RuneScape. I've always got, like, at least three mahogany tree saplings on unlock at any given time. What is this? There's nothing in here. What? Why? Well, okay. Do I dare descend? I guess I can't really do anything there. And I can always go back to the past with my other harp song. Yeah, that was probably the right, right call right there. I think this is backtracking zone. Yep. This is like way at the beginning. 
Definitely don't want to be here. Link to the future. Or past, or whatever it is. What was the last dungeon that we did? Was it Skull? No, it's Crown Dungeon, right? Skull Dungeon? I just want to make sure I have the guide open for this. And while I'm waiting for this to load in, I'm gonna show you this really quick. This is fucking hilarious. I love green text. Every, like, few months I'll go on Reddit and just get lost in r slash green text. And that comes from a person that used to browse 4chan but no longer does. I kinda unironically hate it. So, the fact that I enjoy meme green text is kinda silly, but uh... That and Dungeons and Dragons, either green text or stories. Same thing, I just get lost in it. Be me, go to the martial arts and the gym. Occasionally get black eyes or say absentmindedly to myself out loud that I'm sore for, from training. Friends and family have multiple times said, Anon, maybe you're overdoing it with the training. The people who say that are incapable of touching their toes without bending their legs. They'll also tell me I walked X amount of steps today that they tracked with their cell phone like they think it's a big deal. I try to point out that people used to literally chase after animals in the desert until the animal died of exhaustion. God damn. <laughs> I fucking loved that whenever I saw that. Okay, yeah, we did do Crown Dungeon. Apparently the next dungeon is Mermaid Cave. Uh, unless I've been hinted that... No, Crown Dungeon is definitely the thing I've done. Uh... Alright, skip to all that then. Man, that was a confusing dungeon too. I'm not surprised I got a little mad playing through it. It's just like, what the fuck? This is so confusing! Alright, so Mermaid's Cave. Moblins at Rolling Ridge. Okay, so we just want to go back to where we were. <clears throat> I already knew that, but... Like I said, I just wanted to pull the guy out. Uh, did I fuck up hard? No, please don't. I already... <sighs> like, basically full on HP. I don't care enough. I think I might have severely messed up by going all the way back down here. Regardless of whether I'm in the future or the past. That was a big mistake. Alright, maybe I needed that. Holy shit. Those rock crabs are so annoying. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure I could just go this way again, right? Can't believe I'm con convinced that I was going the right way and have ultimately made myself suffer. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him jump. There we go. I don't know what it is with the Irish accent. I just gotta do it sometimes. It fits. It's like one of my bits. Nice. Game's giving me all that I need now. Imagine using the seed shooter to get through this part. <clears throat> Have to like bounce it off of yourself. All right, we're back where we should be. I, I just gotta remember I d uh, I do go to the past. I don't. It doesn't matter. I'm going the right way. Almost. Almost at the end of Reigns, Yu-Gi-Oh Reigns. How the fuck did this series make me cry over a literal vacuum cleaner? Are you kidding me? You talking about Rotom from Pokemon? That's a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Link Vrains? Oh, that's right, I've already talked to this guy. I'm thinking about Yu-Gi-Oh! and it's causing me to lose my mind. I want to see that more than I want to see Arc V now, but uh... To be fair too, the like main selling point for me on Arc V is the fact that it does have parallel universe characters. That's just so cool to me. Is it this way? What was I? Wait, 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 wait. What was on the west side? Link me that. What are you talking about? The vacuum cleaner and brains? I want to see what you're talking about. Send me a link to that. I'm absolutely confused, puzzled, because I should know what that is. Even though I uh, have only seen, like, one episode, I feel like I should know what that is. Alright, I'm getting confused. I think... My mind is associating this time period with, like, brown and green. I'm thinking it's like summertime or like, you know, past or whatever. Speaking of vacuum cleaners, <laughs> she's got the Abyssal Shark vacuum cleaner. 
We meet again! You know the drill, fastest one wins. Okay, I take the money. Uh, and I guess the bombs, thanks. See you later. Oh, I can't leave. You little ought to remember this. No jokes, that vacuum cleaner had a sadder death than when Yami left. Is this like Iggy? In JoJo Part 3? Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Like the unexpected dog character that has like a couple one-off episodes and when he dies everybody's like holy shit no way they killed Iggy holy fuck is that what you thought does the vacuum cleaner just fucking detonate does it explode so it's a abyssal shark that's right abyssal <laughs> I love that you said it that way I was trying to say the vacuum brand abyssal but that, that's fine too <laughs> Abyssal Shark is very fitting. Okay, I can go here, but this looks like triple deep water. Yeah, I can't I can't use that yet. I need something else to dive that. What's up, Hoot Hoot? What's up, Hootie? What's another vacuum cleaner company? Um When I was a kid, believe it or not, this is a funny story. Uh I was obsessed with Dust Devil. So I wanted a Dust Devil vacuum cleaner and my mom got me one. She also had a Dust Devil vacuum cleaner, but I had like the toy version. I just thought it was the coolest vacuum company and by proxy one of the coolest things ever. Let me, I'm gonna look this fucking thing up. I don't know why I liked a vacuum cleaner so much as a kid. I swear I must have been four years old. Yeah, maybe just because it's red and shiny. Let me see, what did the one my mom have? This one. This is probably like a modern version, but yeah, this is straight out of Sears catalog. <laughs> nice. This is the thing I'm talking about. This is what my mom had, and then I had like the toy variation to it. Why, why did I like vacuum cleaners? Maybe I'm like that fucking dog boy meme I saw on, on Reddit the other day. <laughs> Wants to be a housewife, but can't even clean this room. Wow, that is just so non-sequitur. I'm gonna have to find that now for context. You guys are gonna think I'm a fucking furry. I swear to God, I'm not gonna be able to find this, and the joke's just gonna get even worse. The second result I get is Rule 34 Cartoons. I'm Xing out of this. Uh, can we go back to Dust Devil conversation? God damn, fucking like dog boy housewife. Walk into you guys are gonna think I'm a furry! <laughs> wow, that's a great first chat. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah, we're doing some Oracle of Ages. I'm trying to find- I don't subscribe to anything furry, in fact. Like, if you, if you like that stuff, that's fine. I'm cool with it. One of my friend's girlfriends is a furry. I personally think it's kind of like people you. But, uh, yeah, I saw this post on Reddit that was like, um... Fuck. Like... Dog boy starter pack. <laughs> yeah, and it, one of the things is wants to be a housewife but can't even clean his own room. Which is just so much more obscure and absurd. Lol, not a fan to be honest, yeah. It's not my thing. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not gonna disrespect furries, but it's just not my thing. Uh, this has a keyhole. Alright, we gotta go get a keyhole. Gotta, gotta get a keyhole. Gotta get a key. Legend of the Mermaid, it's been handed down from past to present. It's weird in your opinion, but you're not king shaming. I definitely not yiffing. That's a whole other ball game, dude. No thank you. Uh. You, you guys can go do that, Wh whoever does that, you you can go do that at uh, Comic Con or like My Little Pony Dash Con, all you want. Please, I'm, don't invite me. I'm just not interested. <laughs> oh yeah, there's something behind the waterfall, of course. But again, it's locked. Huh? This has a keyhole. I actually thought it gave me a dialogue option for playing my harp. XD. <laughs> yeah, uh, my buddy Justin. He's a really close friend. He's one of my best friends. Uh, 
his, his girlfriend of, I want to say, five years now? They're engaged. Uh, she has, like, a fur suit and stuff, and she's she's out about being a furry. She's a really cool lady. But again, it's, like, not my thing. I don't know how he feels about it. I don't really talk to him very often. We Gorons love games. Okay, I'm accidentally backtracking now. <laughs> I've seen pictures of her first suit, and it's like, you know, I have no concept, so I guess it looks cool enough. It, like, props to her for being able to make it, I guess, but I, I have no concept. I know some people spend, like, several grand on one, more than, like, a used car, and I'm just like, what? Really? <laughs> Goron dance gives form to the passionate hearts of Gorons. I'm gonna master it someday. Alright, you do you, buddy. I can see your destiny, Goron spirit. Show me all. Oh my! I see you dancing feverishly. I'm so glad I gave Gorons a southern accent in this playthrough. <laughs> dance all to the north, Rolling Ridge to the east. Rolling Ridge Summit, okay. I think this is progress up here and then I have to like do the mini game or something. I sit here to protect the peace on Rollin' Ridge. You have a passionate heart? Only proven Goron brothers may pass. Be off. Alright, see you later, fucker. What? What is with Gorons and loving fire? Enjoying my commentary? Hey, thanks, fam. Yeah, I've said this before. I've been on YouTube since, like, 2006. So, <laughs> uh, I was there for when Justin TV launched, but I wasn't a member until Twitch TV. Someday I want to teach this to my children. Oh my god, he's reminding me of square dancing in middle school. I'm pretty sure I tried to call in sick after the first day of that. I love dancing. This dance will be dance for all eternity. I dance when I'm happy and when I'm sad. If everyone did it, they'd all be happy. Dancing every day tires you out. Sometimes you have to rest. It's the same as working steady. You can't just relax all the time. I'm more of like a cycling and yoga kind of guy. I haven't really been doing so much yoga, but cycling, I'd probably do it daily if I didn't just get so easily exhausted. Fucking love it though. Very enthusiastic. Good. Well, I'm having a mocha, so probably sound a little caffeinated too. A Goron dance is my favorite. I want everyone to learn it. Let's practice. You can be a master Goron dancer too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gotta have both rhythm and passion. Gonna go finish up the last four episodes of Reigns? Alright, man. Enjoy. Let me know what you think. I, I've i been trying to figure out what I should watch recently. I've been, like I've said, I've been watching Foundation. Um, I tried to start Young Justice, but I think I need to skip ahead to a later, more serious season first. And then backtrack, because it's just kind of cringe in the early episodes. But that seemed good. Not as good as Invincible, but it seems good enough. Like Teen Titans tier. And, uh, yeah, I want to check out more Arc Feed. Planning on rewatching the last third of Zexel and Sub after. What? Apparently the dub censored and just plain cut out a ton of scenes. That's like fucking four kids level shit. I hate when that happens in America. Welcome! I'm the first generation of graceful dancers. This is our dance hall. One must know our dance if he is to be called a Goron. Or she. Come on. Or they. If you dance well, I'll give you a symbol of brotherhood. Oh, I see. That's why you say he. Okay. One try costs 20 rupees. Shall we dance? Goddamn mini games in Oracle. Shall I explain the dance? No, I think this is just a DDR mini game, but I guess... Uh, you know, I don't want a tutorial. We don't care how you dance as long as you have rhythm. Am I a good dancer? I don't know. You're like the king of dance. One, two... One, two, three! No, please not rhythm game. What? What are you doing? What? I'm doing it. What? Are you kidding me? That was like six prompts for the first bit. What? Okay. What? <laughs> Wrong move. You fail if you miss once more. What? Oh no. 
I, maybe I should have looked up the tutorial, but I think it's just some directional buttons and also A and B. I was really confused for the first one because he gave me six fucking inputs. I was like, what? Too late, you're off the tempo. Too bad, you failed this time. That is his heart. It is passion. Your body must express the passion. Turn up the heat. Wanna try again? <clears throat> Turn up the heat! Yeah, that's what he's trying to say. Is the Hey Megan shit in Young Justice getting to you? What, what is the Hey, hey Megan shit? That shit is extremely cringe, but there's actually kind of a sad backstory to it later in a later episode. Is that like the Let's Go Brandon? I, I don't get it. Is it supposed to be hazing? No, it's not funny or offensive. <laughs> we don't care how you dance as long as you have rhythm. Uh, okay. Fuck. Left, up, up. Left, up. What? Okay, I get you if I... It, wait, uh, I gotta look at the tutorial for this. This is insanity. I'm just gonna insta-fail. Yeah, great time for you to join Reconson. Reconson. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your username. Uh, hell of a time to join whenever I'm gonna be stuck on probably one of the hardest mini games in the game. You're probably gonna see me game a rage. Uh, give me a tutorial, please. Probably just mixing up inputs. Wait, that's funny. You only play tw you pay 20 rupees once, so I guess you pay to get the tutorial. <laughs> Pay attention to my lesson. You'll hear the rhythm as the dance begins. You must repeat that rhythm. There are two types. Press B to move to this sound. Press A to hold a pose when you hear this sound. There are eight rounds in all. Dance well to six rounds. Okay. Okay. That I was thinking I had to do directional inputs. I was like, what the fuck? Six rounds. Make three mistakes, you're out. Alright, I got it. I'm probably gonna mix up the input, though. Quick as B, long as A. I got this. One, two. Okay. Easy. Easy. That rhythm, dude. I'm playing Rhythm Tengoku. Uh, he's flipping me off, too. I love it. What?! You're gonna knock me for off-tempo? Come on, music teacher. <laughs> Concentrate, okay, next round. Fuck, that one sucks. You fail if you miss once more. The thing is, I suck at these things, so... That's the reason why there's only, like, one part of Rhythm Tengoku Silver, because... God, it took me two whole hours to even get past the first set of minigames, and then to get the third tier... Uh, that was, like, three hours deep, bro. I feel so bad for somebody joining the first time right now, because... I'm just, like, both quiet and also raging at this. <laughs> I just, I know from what I remember watching Vinny do of this, this is a horrible minigame. I think I got the rhythm for the first couple, though. Ugh, I'm rolling my eyes so hard at this. Can I fail and still pass? Okay. You do have to have precise rhythm. Oh god, I'm glad I got that one. Okay, come on, come on. Please. 
One more, I think. Oh, it's the last note. Come on. You fail if you miss once more. I gotta redo fails. Okay. Oh, I can't believe it was down to the wire like that. <laughs> I like rhythm stuff, but streaming rhythm stuff is a whole new ball game, dude. <laughs> You're pretty good. You're pretty good. This makes you a brother to the Gorons. <laughs> As I promised, here you go. Thank fucking god, I didn't spend ten hours here. Got the brother emblem. There, you're a Goron too. All Gorons will call you a friend. May we always dance together. Never again! It's like doing sumo wrestling with Gorons. Fuck no. I sit here to protect the peace. Oh, that's a brother emblem. You understand the passion of a Goron's heart. You may pass. I know it's a brother, but can you help me, brother? Protecting Roland Ridge has given my life meaning. I need an heirloom that'll teach my descendants the value of life. It'd be great if you could bring me something unique. You want an ore? An heirloom will teach your descendants the value of life? I mean, an ore rep is a vase? Yeah, a vase would be great. Oh, okay, sure. I'll be sure to look for that in the guide whenever I, uh, invariably probably miss that completely. Oh my god, I'm so glad that's over. I like the mini games, but some of them are infuriating in this game. A graceful Goron downstairs was bragging about how he found a beautiful key in a waterfall grotto. I'm so jealous. Oh, now I know where to go. Have I been over here? The target range is almost as popular as dancing is- DON'T YOU DARE SAY THAT! More mini games? I'm kind of glad I did it in this order. I have nothing to look forward to except combat in the next game. I guess that I gotta go this way first. Who knows? Dude, I'm just barely making these jumps. There's a Goron Elder. The Elder sure is energetic. I can't keep up. I'm gonna plant barn flowers all over Roland Ridge. All right. I feel like I'm playing Gun for the GameCube all of a sudden. What a great game. That is something I definitely plan on streaming, but I'm gonna have to set aside a very particular moment of time for it, because I'll want to do a lot of the game, and then end up doing just half of it. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with that famous Graceful Goron, really. A Graceful Goron drinks lava juice every day to get energy to dance. I want some too. You mean coffee? Who wants coffee? Eh, this area looks oddly familiar. Am I just going in a big circle, or...? No, this is new content. Very, very odd. Well, I can't push this, so... What? I'm gonna end up throwing it. Yeah, what? Unless me standing on it was the big no-no? Oh, that's right! I might... No. I was gonna say, I might be able to pull it. What? I don't know why this is a thing. What? Maybe I unequip this? Uh... Th there's gotta be a way to grip on, right? Get a grip. Get a grip, streamer. <laughs> okay. Maybe I go back to the future and past? Wh whichever direction in time I'm going here? Because confirm this is a new area. Alright, fair enough. Maybe I go push the seedling in the past? Future? Wh whichever? I have no concept of where I am in time. Hold on, I'm just catching up to where I was in the guide. I don't know- I don't understand how I'm supposed to have 20 bombs by now, by the way. Huh. Yeah, even the guy doesn't say anything about the treasure for uh, giving 20 bombs and 20 ember steeds away, so I think I'm fine on that. What's over here? 
Eh, what? I can't drag this, so why is this even here? This is the future, then. I use the Tune of Currents to go to the future. Confirmed. Oh! I didn't even know you could pick that up off their head. Nice. Another gosh seed tree... gosh dang seed tree plant in the area. I guess gosh seeds must work through both versions of time? It just doesn't matter, you just have to leave the area for it to grow. Come back a couple of times or something crazy. I definitely go up there. What could be down here, I wonder? I don't think I've even been over there. No, I absolutely have. Don't want to jump down there, I don't think. Fuck off. <laughs> Goddamn crab! He's eating my HP up! You mess with the grabbo, you get the stabbo! What's all this then? Big Bang game and target cards. You're telling me there's two more mini games? No way, bruv. Gorons have always taken care of their brothers, and they always will. Alright. We Gorons have many mystical items. If you get any, take good care of them. Alright, thanks, Dad. Speaking of mystical items, I'm gonna whip this one out. Uh, I love this item so much, but it's also just so weird and wonky. Fucking switch places with stuff. Why? Who thought of that? Hey brother, are you dancing well today too? I, I don't think I dance daily. What is this, like the Joker movie? Every time I descend stairs, I'm always dancing? Ted dancing, I'm Ted dancing! Dude, I'm still, like, recovering from the effects of watching Speeder last night. That was the most insane movie series I've ever watched. And it was only 40 minutes total. But the trilogy was so worth it. What? <laughs> okay. What? Is this meant to happen? For generations, my ancestors have sat here guarding the peace on Rolling Ridge. Oh, that's a brother emblem. You understand the passion of a Goron's heart. You may pass. I know it's a brother, but can you help me, brother? For generations, my he needs food? Okay, I skipped all that because I thought this was uh, the same guy for some reason. For generations, my ancestors have sat here. I can't leave, but I'm so hungry I could starve. Could you give me some food? Rock sirloin, rock brisket, anything. Okay. I can see your destiny. Go around, spirit, show me all. Amazing. I see you riding in a strange vehicle and shooting things all around you. Yeah, that's apt. Rachel Goron dances in the back, he's so cool. What? So th there's another dancing mini game? I'm gonna have an aneurysm live on stream. Prepare to call the cops because I'm gonna fa fucking have a stroke while playing this. Alright. I wanna spread this dance around. I don't even. I don't wanna talk to you guys. Welcome, I'm the fifth generation of graceful dancers. This is my dance hall. The Goron dance is all the... What? All the rage? Oh, okay. All the rage with the hip young Gorons. It's great. Wanna dance is ten rupees. Shall I explain the dance? Pay attention. Is it just the same? Okay. Oh boy. Well, at least I did this well the first time. Eight run? No, six? What? what? He said eight then six. I don't know what the eight was about. I get to choose a level! Oh my fucking god. What? What am I required to do? Let me guess, I gotta do gold. Uh, perfect performance gets Link a magical ring. Okay, this is not required. Alright, well if it's for fun then I'll go for the gold. Gotta give myself the challenge, you know? It's like playing fucking Dark Souls. Gold? We don't care how you dance as long as you have rhythm. Please, let me get this first try. Yeah. I'm a dancing god. Yeah.
Nope. Nope. Don't you dare give me another one of those. Well, the boy, fuck it, fuck you, fuck you, buddy, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> no, I, I'm done. Bye, 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 bye. This is why I don't dance IRL. It's both embarrassing and also, uh, I can only do like five dances. It's gonna say two, but I, no, I'm not just Mr. Roboto. What? I wanted to read that. Mr. Link, excuse me. Mr. Link Esquire. Do I want to go this way? I don't know, I'm so lost. Oh, that's right, that's what this is. So, I have to do cart minigame, I think. Thanks. Aside from that, I don't believe I'm really required to do much else. It's carts and something else. Yeah, yeah, you sit here for a million years. Well, it's a good thing... Probably a good thing that I had this still equipped, I shouldn't have even left. Just should have went on my merry way and ignored all this. This way is definitely the wrong way. What the fuck is this? Bomb statue, huh? Wanted energy drink, a big bang owner. Bang. Yeah, bang energy drink. <laughs> I've worked so many late nights lately, I don't feel up to playing games. And I dug up a great prize, too. Oh, well. I need something energizing that can wake me up. Why does everybody need stuff? I don't have anything. Okay, I think I have to go unlock the energy drink by doing another minigame. Well, thank you, I'll take this. Oh, I swear, I timed the sword perfectly there, but I guess because I jumped off a ledge, not a normal jump, I couldn't use it until the animation was done. Not that, like, the half heart damage even matters, but... God, I have to be maximum pro gaming, otherwise it's a failure. Wait, I'm going in circles now, what? Oh, no. Don't, don't make me do this. Wait, what? No. I don't need to be here, this is actual backtracking. Uh, let's see... They're called diamond stones, that's what you switch with the switch hook. Good to know, I guess. I probably don't need to be going this way now that I think of it. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get to that. Hmm, bomb a cracked wall. Where is that? Oh. I don't really care too much about a piece of heart, but this looks important. How do I even get over there? Oh, I see. Maybe I should do that then. Hold up. Hey. We're gonna go to the future tonight. Or the past, whichever it is. Can I go back, please? Take me back! Oh, it echoes in vain. Don't echo the tune in vain. You know that they say that in the Bible, dude. What a shit, easy, fucking low-hanging fruit joke that is. Apparently I need to bomb something over here, but I am... Perplexed at what the game actually means. Because this. This does not take me anywhere near to where I was trying to go. Well, there's a Gasha seed. Gasha tree that I've made. Do I dare just go forward here? What's up with us? Ah, uh, we disconnected from the internet. I saw something weird there with Twitch chat. I figured it happened. We should reconnect in just a moment. 
I usually just say that for the YouTube audience, you guys don't sit here for all eternity waiting for me to reconnect, you know? That was perfect timing. Alright, we're back on Twitch, welcome back, welcome back. What is this? Uh, this was the dungeon I just completed. I, <laughs> I have to actually jump over this, or suffer going forward in time again. Backward, forward, whichever it is. I am supremely confused playing this area. Which seems to be seems to be the recurring theme playing this game. Uh, the more I play this, the more I'm looking forward to seasons. Cause if it is just a lot of raw combat, then fuck yeah. Like the Virgin vs. Chad meme of these two games is coming to fruition. It is very true so far. So I wanna be like on the far easternmost side, I suppose? Whatever I'm warping forward, but I need to find another way to go back to the past. And I need to move that darn seed down there. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do that. Hey, welcome back. We just disconnected for a brief second. We're back. What the fuck is this? I love how their AI is so dumb, they just jump anyway. You were never a threat. This? No, that ain't it. I'm supremely lost. I guess there's the old man's house, but... I think instead of taking rupees from you, he gives you rupees if you go there in the future past. So we'll probably want to wait on that. Yeah, I think I just climb back up and then... What else could I be missing? Looks like I've got everything on the east side. There's my warp point. Wow, we've almost gotten the entire map now. Surprise, surprise. I still can't get it out of my head. Every time I hear the item select, I hear Fry saying Leal. Leals. Fry's got a Galeal, oh shit. There should be a way to move this. Why is this so complicated? I don't quite get it. Yeah, I get fucked. I love that I still take damage from that, but sure, that's fine. Yeah, clearly that's just a shortcut right there. Is this where I want to be? This make no sense, whatever the fuck this is. Hmm. I wish I could just freely traverse time whenever I see fit, instead of goofing like this. That was like a main thing in Ocarina, like right away. Once you beat three dungeons, you're good. You can go back and forth whenever you please. Although, I, to be fair, you have to go back. All the way back. You have to fucking walk back. So, not quite the same thing. Could it be this? I don't think you can switch places with things on a higher level than you, though. But I am high level. Yeah, it doesn't traverse that distance. What? It ain't this, right? What the fuck? It's all just a giant circle, dude. Like, if I warp back in time at the thing west of here, I'm just going in a circle again. So, is it south of here? Sooth? This going backward too, yeah? This, this backward. So what the fucking heck? What the god dang heck? Games at Rolling Ridge. Uh, you're kidding me. Okay, I guess you use the switch hook to switch places with the seed. I don't know how I got over there though. Where was that? Uh, it's at the base of the mountain, that's right. Okay, I guess that's why they give you access like this where you can just jump down. It's for your convenience. In case you realize it last second, like me. I don't think I want to go this way though. I'm going too far west, I think. Sure, whatever. Do, do this again. Why not? No, oh, I'm being an idiot. It's just gonna waste even more time. I need to backtrack this way. This entire area makes me feel like an idiot. As most mountainous regions in Zelda make me feel. At least Breath of the Wild wasn't nearly as confusing. Although it does have its crazy areas. For some reason, you take me to a mountain and 
2D Zelda, it can be Link's Awakening, Link to the Past, or these games. And I'm always like, how the fuck do I get to the eastern or western side of anywhere over here? You get like three places to enter and that's it. Otherwise it's just maximum confusion. Alright, this should gain me some progress. Yeah, like I always say, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm probably just gonna try and find the dungeon. Just do, like, some real easy-going stream tonight. We'll see. Who knows, I might get a little hypers and play more Oracle, but... I do want to check out some online Minecraft, too. What the fuck am I doing here now? Well, here's this. I'm supremely confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm, I'm making progress. You're still old? Shh! Don't tell! Fuck yeah! I made a profit! I have nothing more for you. Yeah, that'll pay for the price that you took from me. By the way, I think... If you go back to the old man after warping through time or saving or something, he'll take your money again. Not this old man, but the other one. That is fucked. Is it this? Okay, this is new. The news! When I get up at 4 a.m., it's time for the news! News! That's all I watch every day, the news! Did you watch the news? It's time for some more news! It's time to watch the news! I used to make fun of my one of my old roommates, because he'd always watch the news super early, and he'd literally watch the news all day. So I'd say shit like that to him. It's like, what the fuck are you even doing? There's a big waterfall here on Rolling Ridge. You should see it at least once. You made me waste a bomb talking to you. Mom, you made me waste a bomb. I'm never getting that rupee. Is there anything over here? Or did I panic stairs for a good reason? It appears there's nothing. Damn turtles. There's some game, I think it's Link to the Past, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. Where you can kill turtles? But usually they're invulnerable unless you knock them off so, not Knock some off to some sins. You knock the socks off. Is there something over here? Why are you leading me down this pathway, game? You gonna make me pull the shovel out? Y'all gonna make me fuck up. God, that looks weird. Imploded Goron face. Got a hundred rupees, I bet you're thrilled. Eh. I still need 500 for something, I think. Or is it 300? Either way, I knew I'd get some money. Hey, thanks, Pops. Thanks for the money, Pops. Oh, that's why this is here. Yeah, I might as well collect this while I'm aware of it. Link to the future! Right then. Oh, landed right on it. Fuck yeah. I don't think I'm gonna take this route, but what's over here? Yeah, just stupid town. I don't think I'm gonna use stupid town to go back home. Take me home. Stupid roads. Oh, that's interesting. It instantly destroys the grass there. Probably because you spawn in stuck in grass otherwise. It's always weird, time travel mechanics like that. So I want to go down here? Hey, okay. Good thing I didn't warp forward again right away. And like accidentally jumped down. I had to make sure I got the seed again. Gotcha seed. Apparently this is fine. Yeah, that's weird. Because, uh, confirmed. Normally if you pick up a pot like this, it'll instantly destroy it. So the game actively teaches you, I guess. If you use this for more than just puzzles, that you destroy shit. No, you're, you're required to grab pots with this for puzzles, so what the fuck? The game tricks you into thinking you need to not, not pick this up. That? That? Send me back. My, Marty! Marty, we gotta go back, Marty! 
As much as I like to make fun of Rick and Morty, I can't wait to check out more. It's still one of my favorite shows. Even though it's cringe saying that, I do enjoy it. When my grandma was when my grandpa was younger, he ran a different shop before he opened Target Carts. I didn't ask you to tell me again. You just instantly talked to me. I don't even think that was an input error. Target cards? Okay, no, I'm like spam pressing the button somehow. Your shoot accusation vain, Link. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna need that. Target cards. This should be easy. Welcome to Target cards. Fire your seed shooter while riding in a cart. Fire your seed. If you hit enough targets, you can win a prize. Up to three misses wins 20 rupees. What? Misses? Okay, let's get you started. The prize this time is this. All I need, whatever the fuck that is. It's clearly a unique item. So I... What? I win money if I miss? I don't understand. What? Okay. This is kind of bizarre, but it's working. Fuck. Oh, you have to wait so long on that! That's it, you hit 9 of 12. 7 of 9? Oh, that was almost perfect, but you still get 20 rupees. What? Are rupees, like, free here? What's up? I'm actually just profiting by playing. Okay. I guess maybe that's why the game gave me so many rupees earlier. Like, well, you're gonna be getting a lot of these, so good luck. You have to wait so fucking long! What is with that? That's, that's bad. That is bad. Hey, at least I can sort of chill while playing this. Unlike the other minigame where I'm just, like, forced into rhythm hell. I had to make the obvious joke. Yeah, it's a free economy. Free real estate. All you have to do in this economy is just... Play card minigame for 2,000 hours, 20,000 hours, and then you have a house. Nope! Mmm. Mmm. You adjust its tra trajectory on the fly unless you select a particular coordinate before using it. What the fuck? I'm gonna have to practice the seed shooter first. No, not already. Hold on. God fucking damn it, whatever. I'm just gonna keep running it until I get it then. What is that, like Chinese silk? What am I looking at over there? Yeah, look at that! Look! What the fuck, the fuck, fuck, fuck. Mm. What? Yeah, I have to queue up the direction I want first, otherwise it just fucks you. It makes you spend a very long time changing directions otherwise. Oh, now I say no, huh? I don't need the practice now. I need you to sit down and shut up. What do you- what? Why, why, what? If you let me replay from that guy, you might as well let me talk to him again. Replay through him too, why not? Oh, I, I do not like this one. At least I get 99, I don't know if that helps though. Wow, nice lag. Oh! Okay, I gotta be a genius on the last bit. Okay, oh! Ooh! I almost went fucking monkey mode! <laughs> Let's see, you hit 12 or 12. Thank fuck. Perfect, now nice shooting. You win a prize. Got the rock brisket. No, I am not ready to try again, but uh, what are you offering? What are you buying? What's the item now? Uh, big rupee, but you're already giving me so much free money, dude. I am shattering rupees to earn the rupees. What? Why is this harder? Why, 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 why? Yeah, look at this. This is your range of motion you get whenever you queue up hitting the shoot button first instead of uh, using directional control. It's so fucked. I'm glad the easy one is the the first one. Uh, I guess you have to hit a certain percentage. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they teach you how to become a hot guy. That's the whole purpose. Goron's gotta be good shooters, you know? 
You're my number one Goron shooter. Can I, like, fucking switch these? Oh my god! All these mini games are driving me insane. I can feel my brain melting to this. What is this? You know, the silly thing is about this, the silly thing about this is, this looks like a dude's head. What is this? This is Goron Gallery. Oh no. Lava juice? Okay, I do need that. Okay. Do you need to hear the rules? I don't want to skip it again. Hey, thankfully I've got a lot of money. Devs kind of give it to you early so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, it's this. Okay, I, I enjoyed this, actually. Do I need to do this? Like, aside from the one time? Alright, I'm in the positive. I'm guessing I need 500 points to make this work. What? I guess I don't know my trigonometry as well as I thought I did. Alright, that's easy. 180. Okay, I'm getting there. There's no point to any of these. I mean, I guess I got lower than average on that one, but... Why fucking bother? Oh! These angles, bro, they're so weird. Oh, come on! That was the easiest shoe one ever. Why this inspiring music for this bit? 300 points. Oh, nice. I was just trying to avoid the imp. Ooh! Do I win anything? Amazing, you win the lava juice. Thank God. No. Wait, what's the item? I don't need the rules. Wait, what's the item this time, huh? Money? Monkey? You got like a heart piece? What, what's up? Oh, that was so easy, bro. I'm like baseball genius. What if that's what this is based off of? It's just a baseball minigame. Alright, that's fine. I don't think I can hit this. Yeah, well. Average points, basically. Oh, I thought I'd get the spin attack on that. Fuck, I was trying to be fancy and I ended up goofing on myself. That's fine, we got the required item for this, so I don't care. Yeah, you actually have to hit the ball. Not hitting is worse than just hitting it into nowhere. Good to know, I guess. I went into this thinking like, oh my god, not this shit again, but... This is actually not too bad of a minigame. Okay. Oh! Luckily enough, the imps give less than the angels. Like, 20 bombs? I still can't carry 20. I, I you know, I had a whole, like, m train of thought for conversation pertaining to that minigame, and I just don't care anymore. No longer bloody care. Well, yeah, I guess we go feed the hungry Goron and also give the other Goron energy drink juice. Fairy? Oh, why does the fairy never confer items to me? You think because Link to the Past had been released around then, by the time this came out, there'd be some reference to that? Just like tossing a shield in and getting something? But no, no, not at all. Not whatsoever. Where the fucking... Okay, this guy's hungry. Uh, I don't know who, where the other guy is. It's like super upstairs. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. You seeing this shit, chat? You fucking seeing this garbage right now? This hot garbage? This guy has the audacity to complain as an ancestor of the guy that wanted meat that he wants a vase. I don't think so, fucker. I don't think so, fuckstick chuckle fuck. It's this guy I need to talk to. I'm so hungry I can starve. Whoa, you're a prime rock brisket. Please let me have that rock brisket. I'll trade my ancestors Goron face for it. Oh, time paradox. Thank you, this is great, as promised here. So we have like two separate trading quests in this game. Not even the main trading quest. Got the Goron face. Oh, this rock brisket is so delicious, thank you. If you get more food, let me have it. I don't think so, buddy. I'm a time traveler. You think I have spare food? Can't even hold on to my proper time, let alone my own 
Bone proper food. Here, take this. This is what you get for sitting. Whoa, that's a face. A fine Goron face. Please, let me have that face. Trade you some Goron aid for it. Wait, what? Wait, who? Who needs Goron aid? Now I have two drinks. One quick gulp will keep, help keep you awake. What? I'm gonna treasure this face. So, do I, what? How many trading quests are there? Am I gonna discover another trading quest? What's the what's the silly joke here? Non developers? Dev in chat? Oh, that'd be sick if Oracle of Ages dev was in the chat. Okay, I think it's up here, yeah? Wait, did, what? Can I do this? Does this work? Oh fuck yeah, I don't know why I didn't try that last time. Gimme. Ooh, money. It ain't this, it's the other side of the mountain, right? Oh boy. Time to climb. Well, luckily I know my time a little better, so I can go forward now. As if the seed sapling wasn't enough hint. Do I even bother doing this? I feel kind of stupid brain damage going this way. I don't think this is the right way to go. Is it you? My grandpa was younger. What? I'm very confused. Very, very confused. So, uh, did, did I just miss something and I didn't go over this guy's house? What the fucking heck? Okay. Walk through time once again, young Link. Drink moo moo milk. Okay. Oh! I whipped that out because I thought it was my sword. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not going the right way whatsoever. I need to just get out of this area. And return to the true beginning of this area. Wow, that's sad. The running effect wears off every time you change floors. Fair enough, I guess. Probably couldn't program that in. Yeah, where the fuck do I go from here? It ain't far west. It's clearly something over here. It ain't this. Uh, it ain't this. Yeah? No? Is it this? God, I'm so lost. At least I run fast. This should take me back where I'm trying to go, at least, I believe. I don't want that, I want this. Equip this, not that. God, the next time I see a case, I'm gonna destroy it my, with my switch hook instantly. Like a fucking pro wrestling move. So I think I can go back here? I think this is a fair play? And this will take me where I'm trying to go. Tired Goron time. Pretty sure I need to just be at the top of the mountain to get towards this guy. Is he here? No. Maybe? No. What the fuck? I am so perplexed. This? No, oh, this is back. But forward, but back. Where? <sighs> this? The fucking no? God, my brain is damaged trying to play this. Could it be this? Hmm. Could it be this? Yes, this. Could it be this? Like, where the fuck is this? It ain't this guy. He needs bomb. Too many bomb that I don't even have. It ain't that. <laughs> okay. I guess I've taken so long, the game's giving me a gasha and the potion was inside. Okay. Cool. It has not taken as much pity on me as I anticipated. I actually have no fucking clue which way I go now. I've completely gone backwards, so... I was backwards, man, the backwards, man, the... Because of this fucking way? I don't know, I, I, I don't know. Gee, Billy, I don't know. I'm gonna be stuck in exclusively this area for just the entire rest of the playthrough. No idea where to go next. 
I'm getting obsessed with going fast. Oh! Uh, no. I have clearly no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do next. Totally and completely lost. Vet? Cause this ain't nothing, this is just broken shit. Uh, what? And I can't use this yet? It's too late for this, right? I've I've now completely lost my time? Okay, no, I had it. What? Yeah, this is the way to proceed onward, but then where was the stupid tired Goron? I don't remember where his location was in relation to all of this. This area is just full of bullshit. None of it makes any sense. I don't like... I do not like that I have to use two items here and then pull out another item. Stop. Every time Zelda does that, it doesn't matter what Zelda game it is, I'm always just like, quit it. I've already done a thing. Don't make me do another thing. Patience proves to be the key there, so it ain't even this. Like, I don't want to turn around here. Every now and then we get a little bit closer. Turn around. So what the fuck? Downstairs from here just goes to stupid town. Right? I feel so fucking lost. I seem to remember the tired Goron was quite close to the top of the mountain, so... Yeah, there's a couple of ways to get up there, but also just... Like, which way? None of the ways make any goddamn sense. Is it this way? No, it can't be this way, because I didn't want to be the over here. And this is like the stupid dungeon entrance. Yeah, I didn't want to be in the past, future, or whatever the fuck it was. So it's clearly upstairs from somewhere, but which... which place? Wh where what? Where does it originate? It seems like it was on the general path on the new route. Which was even a more confusing new area, but I don't know. Is it up here? You know what, I think it is up here. Eh, yeah, fuck yeah, finally. A tired man. I've worked so many late nights. That's Goronade. One drink of that charges you up. Hey, let me have it. Yeah. I'm wide awake now. Thanks. I'm gonna open up shop. Wanna give my game a try? First game is on the house. What is it? Gonna make me play another game? This time the price is this. Oh no, it's something I need! Fuck. Oh, I see. This ain't too bad of a mini game. I think you just need to make sure you don't get hurt. Yep. <laughs> I don't think you can even use a, sh a shield for this. It'd be kind of silly if these are the items required to play the, the game here. And I just, like, somehow magically had them equipped. It's pure coincidence. I don't think you can switch with detonating bombs, though, so... I'm probably totally fucking wrong on that. Oh, get gamered! Get absolutely fucking gamered! <laughs> God damn it! That was actually just one pixel! Come on, bro. You know you would've missed normally. Come on, I was stunting on these hoes. No, you can use whatever you want here, I guess. Well, I don't know why I wasn't using this before. In fact, I should probably save this till later, whenever it gets harder. Not that I'm running low, but... Just because... The spawn instance timer of this buff... It's gonna disappear by the time I get to the wave where all the shit happens! Ooh! Okay, no, that was perfect timing, actually. I see. Nice. Amazer! Amazing, take your prize. Thank fucking god. No. No. Wait, yes, this was actually hypers. Nope, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You kill me now. I waste money, but you kill me now, please. Bye-bye. I'm glad you don't actually take heart damage in, in this. 
The developers were cognizant enough to not do that. Very good. Good dev. Patent dev on back. Good dev. There's so many Zelda games where you get hurt in the minigame and you can just fucking expire. You would just die in the minigame. Like, what? It seems like if Nintendo's the developer, then you die in the minigame, you die in real life. Otherwise, if it's Capcom, you're good. It's only virtual death. Alright, well, we unlocked the dungeon. Feels good, man. I like that idea. It hasn't taken me too long each session so far. Let's go unlock it. That's it. Alright, level 6, Mermaid's Cave. This looks cool. I like the music here, too. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna take a quick BRB. The YouTube audience isn't gonna notice anything different, but for Twitch, I'm gonna be right back. We back. I just wanted to make sure I went to the store really quick before they closed. It's not super late, but uh, yeah, I wanted to grab more drinks before the night ended, at least for them. So yeah, welcome back. Uh, Mermaid's Cave. How long have we been going? Hmm. Let's say I maybe like start this dungeon and try and get a little bit through it, or maybe I'll try and finish it. We'll see. No, we're not done. I just. I went and took a break really quick. I actually just biked down to the store. I wanted to grab a couple more drinks. Like I said before, eh, I'd have to go like all the way to Walmart to get more drinks. And I don't, it, for streaming two, maybe three things tonight, I don't want to go all the way out to Walmart. <laughs> that, that's kind of, you know, if I'm making record time, I can get out there pretty fast, but man, I'm going to be spending like a good 40, 50 minutes. No thanks. Yeah, Mermaid Cave. This is very interesting so far. That whiz robe instantly drowned. He... Like, my sword could have done some damage, but he stood no chance against the water. Mmm, it's like the devil fruit. Yeah, welcome back to the stream. Hello! Hello! Yeah, we're doing a little bit of Oracle of Ages. We had a very confusing beginning to this, but now I'm just glad to be in a dungeon. Where everything's sort of consistent, self-contained. Yeah, sure, there's a lot of puzzling and stuff, but I don't have to worry about anything outside of this map. <laughs> Everything south of that tile where I can exit, I don't have to think about. It. It's just the dungeon, though. Speaking of thinking, I should probably pull this out. Yeah! Okay. Zelda equals One Piece? Yeah, exactly. Did you know Eiichiro Oda wrote Zelda? Hey, dungeon map. This game is very confident in not giving you compass, ever, at the beginning of a dungeon. It's almost always dungeon map. Unless, uh, there's some sequence break I haven't seen yet. Yeah, it seems like exclusively I'm getting map first. Also surprised that I have a ring that makes me capable of firing sword beams, but it makes no sense how it works. Can I view that here? Light ring level 1. Sword beams at minus 2 hearts? What? So I have to have exactly 2 hearts missing? Do I have to have 2 hearts left? What the fuck could... <laughs> I want sword beams. I feel like that's the most complex unlock for that. Okay, I have to wait an eternity for this thing to bounce back and forth. There we go. This one's weird. I... Just remembered this now that I've seen it. Again, from Vinny's playthrough, not my own playthrough. Kind of odd how it changes the state of the entire tile map of this room. Very cool, though. Alright, give me a hint. In fact, I have no use for mystery seeds whatsoever. Oh, that's what I had equipped, okay. What say you? Sense seduce savage beasts. Nice alliteration there. Why? I need to bring them somewhere? That ain't it. I need to seduce savage beasts. Why? Don't you mean kill them? That's usually the solution to most of these puzzles. 
So far, I don't see any way to push this over and sanctify them. Nope. Well, it's clearly not anything closer to them if it would want me to shoot at them. Why are these here? What? Want me to, like, place this here? So far, I'm already confused by this dungeon, which is very fitting because started extremely confused just playing again tonight. I thought I was going to be stuck in Goron Town forever. I resigned myself to it, it's like signing up for the army. <laughs> I was just ready for it. Nothing but Goron Town. Oh, that fucking killed me. <laughs> Sweet. I don't think I can go west. Or, yeah, uh, west. Man, I need to watch more One Piece, that's another thing I've been meaning to get around to. I actually had the thought last night, too. I was just too damn tired, dude. Thankfully, my sleep schedule's a little better recently. That's just in part because I've been going to sleep a little earlier. I've been getting tired earlier. Very old. It's very old for me. Can I do anything over here? Uh, I don't even think I can diagonally jump, but let's see if this changes anything. Oh, what? Well, maybe I do need that? Let me try that again. Oh, my neck feels so weird. Is it all the exercise I've been doing today? Just finished rains? Oh, that's right, that's what you're off doing. <laughs> I was wondering why, like, uh, you disappeared for a second. I totally forgot. <laughs> I guess me doing all that exercise just reset my brain. You know that hole in your heart you get after you finish a long series and realize this is the end? Aw, oh, man. Just had that conversation with a new friend last night, we were talking about Code Geass, and that exact concept. One of my favorite anime, and it's like, fuck! Why is it so good, and why did it have to end? I even played the first opening in the final episode, too. That's basically emotional manipulation. They're just trying to get even more money out of you. By playing the first episode, they con you into buying the entire DVD box set. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, I can go south over here? So far we haven't really found any keys, which I kind of... I like the change of pace. And it's only a one-floor dungeon. Why is it so short? I guess all the Goron mechanics earlier was really like the brunt of the story for this part. I, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't notice this last time. I guess I was just so eager to go east. I hope you enjoyed it, man. Hey! Look forward now, you can watch the sub of Sevens. Solid Yu-Gi-Oh! series? I've heard a lot of good stuff about Sevens. As I've said, I've only seen like an episode or two. I think it- not even a full episode, I think I've read a synopsis. <laughs> yeah, Vrains looked like it was a little more mature for Yu-Gi-Oh! Which I've always appreciated. I mean, I've been... Basically single-man fan-dubbing. Season Zero, so clearly I'm a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh to some extent. But yeah, uh, more serious Yu-Gi-Oh seems just better. Especially when it's Kaiba freaking out and he's like, Yu-Gi! I'm gonna fucking kill you and all of your friends if you don't give me cards! Soul is for cards, Yu-Gi! So I'm sure the seriousness of Reigns made it a lot better than, like, just traditional cinnamon roll Yuma. Cinnamon bun, Yuma. Astral cinnamon bun, Yuma. Yuma X cinnamon bun. I gotta fucking show it again now that I made the X joke. Hold on. No, that, that. I, I do appreciate the Dirt Devil. Fucking Magu Tree X Link. How would that work? A link in a tree? What, when? Okay, well, I'm blazing through this dungeon. I mean, after all that complicated time puzzlery, I guess it's welcome. Maybe I wouldn't be so suited to being a time traveler, despite the fact that I love Doctor Who so much. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. I mean, gee, you think if you're running into, like, apocalypse scenarios all the time? Yeah, you would probably... at least want to take a break in the TARDIS every once in a while. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I... Eventually, I'll check it out and probably have the same 
exact experience. Just, you know, tug heartstring.exe. I definitely felt that for the first series, though, for sure. Just one of those things like, fuck, Yugi, don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you know. Just the, the very ending. I do have to rewatch it, though, because uh, I saw a lot of the Atlantis arc of OG season, you know, 1, 2, 3, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and I don't remember much of it, because it would only air so very infrequently, and then on top of that, I missed a lot of episodes. So, like, I saw a lot of the Leviathan, Dragons, Atlantis stuff, but after that, I don't really remember much, aside from, you know, the final duel. God, I suck at this. Rain's plot is a B plus. Main character is a C. I feel like after Yugi, you pretty much get a C for most main characters. Side characters are a B. Villains are a B plus. Huh. Villains are better than main character. Neat. Wait, what? Did I take too much time on this? Or no? Wait, never mind. I saved blue for last. That's what it is. Art and animation was a B plus. Oh yeah, it's Konami. They're only gonna put so much budget in. Well, I wasted all my hearts on this, but at least we made past that. You know, just just got a key, at least. Regardless of the scores you give it, Brains was completely worth it. Hmm. Yeah, I just gotta catch up. I think I had a lot of stigma towards advancing past Sexel. Number one, because it was kind of, like, mind-blowing how much I enjoyed it. I thought it was gonna be shit. <laughs> In some aspects, it kind of was. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, this is pretty solid. I could see me enjoying this as a kid. You miss an A+, what do you mean? <laughs> Shark is triple S, of course? Yeah, what am I saying? I mean, like, the first watch-through of Zexel is definitely ex a s very special experience, so... I'm surprised I never saw it as a kid growing up on Cartoon Network, or even like a younger, full adult. How the fuck do I do this puzzle again? Oh, okay. I think like subsequent subsequent watch-throughs, if you have a buddy that's seen it too, I feel like that's a perfect beer and chips night kind of thing, where you guys just fucking laugh over the moments. Because it really is just super fucking goofy. But yeah, I'm surprised I enjoyed that so much and... Man, I gotta go back even more, because, uh, as you know, I'm a fan of manga, so I'm gonna have to both finish 5Ds for the first time, because I've never done that. Even though it did seem like a really good series, it just never did. And then read the manga parts that are different, which should, you know, take me the better part of a day and a half or something. Why is this here? This is the second time I've tried fiddling with this, and there's really nothing going on with it. Okay, I gotta go southeast then, I guess. I have no clue otherwise. Let's go ahead and smash pots, as Link usually be doing. As Link could do. The duels and brains were by far the best. Show the most understanding of the game. Well, yeah, that's... That's like Yu-Gi-Oh! 101. They gotta do that for every arc of the anime. If they don't, they're really fucking up. Actual combos that you... Oh, you mean like it was... Not only did they show off good stuff, but they used, like, meta card game mechanics. That's cool. I feel like you didn't really see that too much in... Eh, like, Legacy, I guess. Once you get the Battle City, it's a little closer, but still a little shit, too. There's anything to turn off that annoying heart-beeping sound effect. So it's this. How did I turn around here and just... Ignore all of this. I, you know what it is? Every time I have to swim in a dungeon, I'm like, nope, I'll come back to that. I know I'm gonna have to come back to that, so I'll come back to that. Every time. Not even swimming, if I just see a, a segment with shallow water that I have to walk through, I, I don't want to get my socks wet. I'm taking the dry path first, if I'm given the option. I, I'm remembering Link to the Past in particular, whenever I say that. There's the one that... The dungeon, you get the hookshot. Every time. 
Probably because of that. I think you have to go the dry path first. I don't know. Okay, I gotta go to do 2D segment? No? What? Well, that's cool. Like I said, yeah, the fact that meta is displayed... I mean, that's both good card sales and just... That's what you should do. I don't know if Pokemon anime does that, but, uh... For example... Uh, like I said, I haven't really read it, but I... F just through osmosis from memes... I know that Pokemon Adventure is read. There's a lot of, like, Pokemon meta. Rather than just, like, random cute cool mons, you know? Nothing is meta-based in the other series. The meta back in 06 was already so far ahead of anything in Battle City. That's fair, yeah. The card game really did advance quite a bit. It was... a lot of it was due to just raw sales. But also, the card game video games. Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh! is such a huge franchise. Back when I was buying a Nintendo Wii, like, the PSP had eight titles already. <laughs> Like, holy shit, that was like 2010! Eight is probably an exaggeration, but I'm sure at this point it's eight. Where the fuck do I go here? I gotta come back? I gotta blow up the wall? No. What? Is it top left? I don't... You know what I do remember? I don't remember where the fuck... Okay, well there's that, too. I swear I've seen another key door somewhere. It ain't that. I don't think it's that. Oh, come on, you're gonna make me listen to this again? It might be top left, I might just be missing something. What the fuck? Where did you guys come from? I don't remember you being here before. No, wait, that's right, you were here before. Just kill me. No? Die another day, I suppose. <laughs> okay, that's right, I have a potion. You know what? I welcome that. That ain't the... Mm, no, hmm? I probably would have noticed the closed door top left. Uh, let me go check, I guess. Maybe it was like a two-sided room. You can't get to the other half without doing one half first. I don't know. It's fucking Zelda, bro. It's always confusing. Like, fucking tell me about it with... Skyward Sword. People complain about Ocarina of Time Water Dungeon. Bro. Go play fucking Skyward Sword Water Temple. Jesus. Like, and not only do we have to repeat that area, because that entire game is just repeating areas for some dumbass reason. Only you have to repeat that. But the, the, the dungeon itself is just like, what the fuck? Well, cool, but like, what? You might as well just be speedrunning Skyward Sword at this point if you actually want to play it. With how broken it is? <laughs> might as well just do cutscene flag manipulation or whatever it's called. I think it's just called Scene Flag Manipulation. Well, it ain't this way. That's where I got the key. I guess I could have put the bomb in the wrong spot, but I really fucking doubt it. Every time I saw a card I used in the show, I went, Holy shit, he's doing the fucking combo! Played like half the main cast decks. Wow, okay. Have you played a lot of the, uh... More recent Yu-Gi-Oh! games? We were talking about the really cool Android game that I plan on playing on stream. Not Duel Links, but the other one. I think it's called Link Duel Evolution or whatever. But, uh... I haven't really played much of the more recent games. It, it really depends on which one it is. I think my all-time favorite, aside from the classic, which you should probably never play if you want to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! is Eternal Duelist Soul, but my all-time favorite is probably... Duel Masters 2006? So... Yeah, anything past that is like... Playing past Generation 4 in Pokémon for me. It's all new. What could I possibly do here? He, this guy tells me something about scent seeds, but... I don't think there's any point. Do I just need to kill these guys? It looks like I can't get them at this angle, so... Eh? Oh, I didn't even use Scent Seeds last time. I'm an idiot. I had to lure them off the edge. And I was using Mystery Seeds. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Just to fuck with you? Like, yeah, you gotta use a Mystery Seed on the Owl. You're just gonna switch back to Mystery Seed. You don't know, that's my fault. 
Because I was using the seed shooter to talk to the stupid owl. I probably would have realized that way earlier. By the end, the characters were literally just showing my replays. Yeah, that, me IRL was Zane's Cyber and Dragon deck. After I discovered that and like started playing later on games around GX era, every fucking time, bro. And then I summoned Cyber Dark. No, Twin Cyber Dragon times two and limiter removal. See you later. Also, Jinzo, because I have a graveyard or something like that. Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, yeah. By far the best you've seen, really. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to catch up with all the new Yu-Gi-Oh, so I don't blame you for not really playing much of the new stuff. Like I said, I mean... Even, uh... Dual Trancer, which is a 5Ds game for the Wii. Even that, I was like, I played it recently and I was like, this is good. I'm surprised I never had this. Like, growing up is what I mean. I never had it growing up. How the fuck am I supposed to get up here? This is the only way to get into anything. You want me to, like, time travel game? Is that it? It's gonna echo in vain, I promise you. Limited removal will be like, yup, double. Exactly, it's just yup, cock. Except, uh... Optimal DPS, you probably want Cyber and not Cyber, you probably want Twin Cyber Dragon. If you can make two of them too, I mean, it's fucking over, bro. Fairy, fairy Meteor Crush one of them or something, I don't know. Is it this, perhaps? Hmm, it evaporates. So, what? Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna tank damage while doing this, I should just look at the guide? Wait, 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 what the fuck? Mermaid's Cave, past. First floor. Hold on. Number one. Number one. It says past. Number two. I'm sitting here like first floor and it's already a puzzle I haven't seen. So I'm like, okay, Monka Giga. Literal removal DNA surgery, bro. I still need to pull off that combo, but it seems so OP. Let's put it on Mataza the Zapper with the... Uh, I don't know. Give him 2x Horn of the Unicorn. Give him Axe of the Sparrow. Who fucking cares? He's gonna eviscerate whoever the fuck it is. Double attack. Give me 2x Mataz of the Zapper. Fuck it. Soon it'll be time to play more Yu-Gi-Oh! But I've got something a little special planned. And also, yeah, like you've been saying, I want to play Legacy Link Duel Evolution. Legacy of the Duelist. Link Evolution. Hey, a ring! Can I reach that? Uh, vacuum cleaners. Oh! Did I get it? She has, like, a delay on picking it up, so I think I got that. I don't know. I have to get it appraised. How many rings do I have, anyway? Three. Sweet. Well, I guess this is a time-based dungeon, silly enough. Hmm. Level six, Mermaid's Cave. Why? Oh, that's right. I got distracted by silly witch lady. Thought she was gonna pop out again, too. <laughs> like, yeah, I totally went time traveling there. That's what happened. One thing you've always loved about the TCG is the stories they tell with the cards. Hell yeah, dude. It's, it's really cool that there's so many normal monster cards still. Huh, this has a key. You're telling me I need a key for the past version, too? I thought I already had this sucker. But reading up on card lore and damn, I'd totally watch that anime if it existed. They might as well, but I think there's incentive to... Yeah, there is two different versions. That is absurd. I think there's incentive to have a duelist. I don't know what incentive, because it'd probably be pretty cool. I mean... They could set it up so it's still accurate to the card game. But I don't know, it'd probably be confusing. They'd have to, like, just simulate duels for every episode. Just make that into, like, a D&D sort of setup to a story. I guess that'd be pretty dank. So I have, what, Lava Juice? Did that... Did that guy need that? How the... What? New card art is also sick as fuck. I, sorry, I don't know if I read that or not. 
I'm like getting fucking brain damage because I'm sweating so hard. It's hot, even though it's cold outside, I'm fucking hot. Where is this guy? That's right, he's on the... The thing where I get two directions to choose from, it's kind of close to the top of the mountain, it ain't this. Definitely fucking ain't this. I think I need to go back to that guy and then time travel again? And I give it to his dad or something. <laughs> nice. I, I need to give him- give his dad the lava drink, I think. I drink, I think. I drunk him thunk. Like, where the fuck is it this? God damn, I'm getting so lost in Goron Town, dude. Can't tell me this doesn't look sick. Hold on, I'm getting decimated by bats. New archetype, P-U-N-K. Link Frames wasn't... actually wasn't that recent. Okay! Jesus! You see that? I just lost like four hearts in one go. Man, relentless. P-U-N-K. Hold on, I'm copy and paste again. I just... Oh, screenshot saved to... Gotta love whenever I try to copy something with my keyboard and it connects five seconds late. So I press control C somewhere else, dude. Oh, this looks cool as fuck. These are link cards, but they're effect cards, huh? Wait, there's Link Fusions. I guess Link is a separate type of archetype that applies the dueling style. God, I'm gonna fucking... Oh! I hate this sound effect so much. It doesn't matter what Zelda game it is. It infuriates me. Like, there just needs to be a setting to turn it off. For every game. I don't know why it's necessary. You think I don't realize I'm low HP? Okay, I think this is the spot I want to be in. God, this is so confusing how you do this. I still want to run a spirit deck, but I don't- I really doubt that it's competitive. It's probably not meta whatsoever. Do I need to go this way? That is it. It ain't this. I've confirmed previously in the past, it absolutely is not that. Not in the past in the game, the past in real life. So it's probably this. Just give me fucking hearts. Why don't they have like four bottles with fairies in them? This is driving me insane. Thank you! You actually spared my sanity by killing me. Yikes. Link is just another type like XZ, XYZ, Synchro or Fusion. Okay. Ah, interesting. That, that's not hard to differentiate. Okay, it's either I gotta go fast or I gotta be able to jump. One of the two. Otherwise, I can't tolerate how slow the 2D games are. I mean, at least Link to the Past gives you the Pegasus boot, so it's just... Whenever you want it, it's there. You go fast, you wanna go fast. You... If you want to go fast, you go fast. <laughs> the first way I said it is like, going fast in general just makes you want to continue going fast. You know what? That's true though. It does. I guess that statement was true. You are not the father. Alright, absolutely don't go talk to the old man and then... I guess, suppose it was on this side? Ah, uh, that's what it was. It's this building. If you can call it that. No, it's not. I should get- I, I should grab that, though. Thank you. I was wondering why I had a spare energy drink. Well, one of them's Goronade, the other's Lava Drink. I guess his ancestor preferred Lava over Gatorade. What a funny reference, too. I guess Gatorade kind of does reach back that long ago, huh? Back when this was developed. Pendulum, on the other hand, that's a fucking can of worms you don't want to open. Every time, every time there's a new Yu-Gi-Oh thing, it's shit at first, but I kind of agree. 
Just what I understand of it, it, it kind of makes no sense why it exists. Did you come to play? It cost 10. No. No. I need to be here, but I don't want to play. How do I get out of this sticky situation? Do I... You know what? I was gonna say, do I go with the past here? I don't want to risk it, but I, I can just... Or go with the future, but I can just do it whenever I want, so it doesn't matter. Uh, come to think of it... <laughs> I'm already in the future. Hey, gotcha, nut. Gotcha! Hey, another ring. Sweet! So I think I can go with the past over here? Yeah, that should be easy. I can just jump down from here, I think. Alright, let's go. I like that Pendulum adds another special summon area. I mean, they might as well make it six cards. Because you basically start with six cards in your hand if you have a uh, first turn. Or I guess, you know, even if you're playing second, you start with six cards. So, well, not all the time, but usually. So, I... You know, if you can whip out six monster cards, like, so be it. What the fuck? So it ain't this, really? Uh, what? Alright, I'm gonna fucking search lava drink. Lava juice. I have no fucking clue where this goes. Wait, what? You didn't tell me that I can get a boomerang from the target game. What? Enter the game room and speak with the Goron at the counter to get... After you get the lava juice, you get a boomerang? Jesus! The writer of this guide had no idea that the boomerang existed. Uh, so in exchange for the lava juice, the Goron will give the letter of introduct... What? Okay, I have to take that somewhere else. Walk up, where the fuck is this? Oh, I'm actually in the right area. Huh, I should have guessed that this would be right, but... I saw that there was no one here, I was like, what the fuck? I mean, there's this guy, but... I, this is where the route I would usually go is, so I was like, what? Speeder! <laughs> I tried sending that to Charlie Moist Critical, Penguin Z Zero. He didn't like... He didn't like the tweet or anything, so I'm assuming he didn't watch it. But I want him to watch it so fucking bad. If we do anything on this channel, make fucking Penguin Z Zero, Moist Critical Charlie, go watch Speed 3. Fuck, I want him to see it so bad. I plan on making a edited version of it, so that I just have the entire trilogy in one video. So keep an eye out on the main YouTube channel, that's gonna go up over there pretty soon. Speeder! God damn speeder. Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with the famous Graceful Goron, really. Hey, that key looks like the mermaid key the Graceful Goron has. You want the Graceful Goron's key too? Aren't you greedy? Look, I don't know if it'll work, but if you give me your lava juice, I'll introduce you to the Graceful Goron. So, can I have your lava juice? Fuck it, yeah, bro. Okay, take this letter of introduction to the Graceful Goron. If you show that to the Graceful Goron, he'll understand. So much backtracking in this area. Dude, speed there? Mmm. I like fucking had to pucker my lips before that one. That's fucking... That's... That's epic tier chef's kiss. Speeder is like an Academy Award win winning film. Okay, it ain't this guy. I just had to check. I might even watch that again. I'm gonna have to force someone to watch it with me. But goddamn, is it gonna be worth every fucking second? I'm gonna see stuff I never even expected. Is it this guy? I can see your destiny. Gordon Spirit, show me all. Oh my. I see you dancing. No, I'm not dancing. I have a fucking fuse. Oh, that's an introduction from a brother. What's this? Give me your mermaid key. I don't even know I have it. Well, oh well, I can't turn down a brother's request, but I can't just give you this. Dance me for it. No, I have to dance again, bro. 
I gotta fucking dance to the rhythm again. <laughs> this clip is from one of my favorite streamers sums up. This clip from one of my favorite streamers sums up the public opinion on Pendulum pretty nicely. At least from Konami's point of view. How long is this? Time to open men. Not sponsored, by the way, I just unironically fucking love this browser. It's so tiny and lightweight. The UI is neat, too. The truth be behind the pendulum players. Let's check this out, dude. In the middle of the Zelda stream? Yes, because I don't want to fucking dance yet. God. <laughs> I fucking abhor it. I, I like rhythm games. But this, this, this shit right here? Slaps roof of dancing Goron? This shit ain't right. I guess this shit ain't right either. Pendulum Summon? I guess this ain't right either. Alright, let's watch this really quick. Mini YouTube night. Fucking speeder is too good for the academy! That's right. That was a wild series Tell you like of a really videos. hard proof right now that you people don't seem to understand. <laughs> oh fuck, okay. If you're a pendulum player, they hate you. <laughs> you 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 are the, the stain on this game. <laughs> this you is like when XYZ summoning came out. Yu -Gi -Oh! In the postmodern era. <laughs> the power creep, the card text, oh yeah. The problems that Paragraphs. many people seem to have with modern Yu-Gi-Oh stems from you. You are the people who ruined <laughs> modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Why Star Wars? You are the root <laughs> problem. You're not the band-aid <laughs> fix that we can music. just stick over a firewall. You are the root central issue and 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 and, and, and patient zero. <laughs> you are you you okay. you you are Perform a where pal. that virus came from. The pendulum player base. <laughs> That's what your mechanic did. And they will never bring Please it stop. back. <laughs> because you're just a terrible person. You need to accept that. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing that pendulum came out years ago. So uh like, whatever I said earlier, I was completely fucking wrong. I don't know what I was talking about. It's a good thing it came out years ago, because people can just ignore it in the meta, I guess. Instead of, ah, oh, God, it's the new fucking thing and it sucks ass so bad. Mmm. I need to play some more Yu-Gi-Oh soon. Alright, I guess it's time to fucking dance. Ugh. We've already done this so many times today. Come on, bro. Come on. Fucking square dancing with Gorons in middle school. I knew I was gonna fucking mess that up. It's so basic and I still messed it up. What if I have bad memory and also bad rhythm? How do you beat this game then? That was easy. What? Uh, <laughs> why? Fucking hate this. I have to focus so hard I can't even commentate. I hate it. Jesus, I fucking hate this. Please just end it. Please kill me, kill me now. Oh, just end it. Fucking, fucking, thank God. Lord Soul, since a brother has recommended you, I will do as I promised. Thank fucking God, bro. Um, MF Pray, dude, motherfucker, praying right now. Thank you. <laughs> I fucking hated that. Got the mermaid key. Come back if you need another lesson. I don't think so. In fact, I don't even think I'm gonna ever play this game ever again. Like, once I beat this, I think I'm never gonna play this ever again. Unless there's a walkthrough walls code because of exclusively you, this one Goron. This guy ruined it for me. 
I'm gonna go beat this and then go enjoy seasons and play seasons a hundred times. But ages? F fuck you, ages. <laughs> Just walking directly into an enemy, that's how mad I am. <laughs> Only gaming mad, not like genuinely mad, but like, holy shit! You might could be play rhythm game in Zelda? What if I'm like two? I don't- I can't into rhythm yet. I still need to brain learn this. What am I doing over here? I'm in the right area, but the wrong time. Or the- I- I don't know how this works, but what is time? Can I go forward? This is the past, right? Pendulum has gotten so useless to the point there, where there's only about three playable decks. Really? I mean, yeah, if it requires two paragraphs to explain what the fuck it does, you- <sighs> Just delete this. You might as well just give up on it. Like, make some one-off cards for the non-competitive silly players that are useless. You know, just print them for the meme. Make new stuff occasionally, but uh, just completely phase it out. Nobody wants it, then fuck it. It's not the first time Konami has done a smooth brain play. Holy shit, is that true? Yeah, at this point, like when I was younger, around Gen 4 Pokemon era, by the way, I was totally like, man, fuck modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm never playing XYZ, I'm not playing Synchro, fuck that. Nowadays, I'm like, hell yeah, that seems cool. So it's definitely changed for me. Alright, we're in the past for Mermaid's Cave. Maybe I'll get the compass the first time here. Uh, it doesn't really matter how long we've been going tonight. I w usually for Zelda, I try to aim for the two-hour mark at bare minimum. So, uh, you know, if it's an hour 30, I'm sorry if you wanted more content, but this is going to be a bigger dungeon, I can already tell. Because it's both in the past and the future. That's the first time we've had this so far. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of it, do some map discovery, and I think we're going to move on for tonight. We'll save both time variant versions of this dungeon for next time because I can already tell you I'm gonna go for like three and a half hours if I do all of this tonight and I'm just gonna be so tired I'm not even gonna want to play Minecraft yeah this is perfect I like this puzzle a lot this will be a great way to end this off what they have to be like a mid jump for it to be attackable no it was just too far away hey I, I didn't say you could stop running fast link you damn dink. You can still hit them, but they are impervious whenever they're the uh, same color as the floor. Interesting. Nice. Hey, I did get the compass first this time. Hey, that's, uh, that's really interesting. What the fuck? There's just loot everywhere, but there's only a few chests. Huh? Do I have to, like, bomb the wall? No, it looks like the bottom half is accessible. There's not really much here, though. How did I miss this? It's only up here whenever I got the compass, or was I being fucking blind? There's a meme throughout the entire community that Yu-Gi-Oh players don't know how to read. Oh uh, yeah, after a while, it's just memorization. I couldn't tell you what the fuck, uh... Soul Release says? Graceful Charity? I, I could not tell you verbatim. Off the top of my head what it says, but I absolutely know what it does. <laughs> uh, soul Release and Graceful Charity. Back in Legacy, <clears throat> it was cool to see those in tandem. Nowadays it's like, yeah, Graceful Charity? Sure. Soul Release? No, you, you don't see that, really. Like, old stuff that used to combine together and was canonically released around the same time, basically. Some of it lasted a little longer, bro. So yeah, I think that's gonna end it off for tonight. I'm gonna save the rest of these two dungeons, which is one aspect of a whole dungeon, and temporarily, temporarily displaced. Save this for next time, because I, I want something exciting to look forward to. And I have a feeling because we're getting closer to the end of the game, there's probably gonna be both a little more side content I want to check out, and also we might even discover the next dungeon faster next time. So I'll beat this dungeon in both variants, and then probably go get the next one. So yeah, for the YouTube audience- Oh, we just had two hours, okay. For YouTube audience, that's gonna do it for me. 
Uh, for the Twitch audience, stick around, we're doing more stream tonight. And, uh, yeah, that was Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. We just unlocked Dungeon 6, Parts 1 and 2. Very nice. So, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.